Sylvania is up next from San Diego. Hi, Sylvania. I'm glad you waited. You're next on the EIB Network. Huh? Hi, hi, Russ. Uh, yeah, I was a, a big Trumpster from the get-go, um, and the way he caught my attention was when he started saying, make America great again, and we're going to win again. For me, that was the key word, winning. Because, you know, I, I'm, I was just absolutely exhausted and tired of losing seven years. I wanted to win. So I was with, uh, I was with uh, uh, Donald Trump from the beginning, but then also Ted Cruz kind of started, you know, getting my attention. And I was kind of thinking and looking at both guys and, you know, debating. And then Iowa happened. And what we saw in Iowa was that Ted Cruz took on ethanol uh, lobby, and he said no subsidies. And he was the only candidate that did that. Donald Trump actually caved there. And 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 um, and ethanol lobby spent a lot of money against Ted Cruz. And the governor in in Iowa actually said, "Please vote for anybody but Cruz." And Cruz held firm, and he won. So you know, when you had that caller before saying, "Well, I'm with Donald Trump because he's a fighter and he fights," and Ted Cruz, I'm not sure that he can fight. I say you really need to look at the things the way they are, not the way you want them to be. Because right now, I see Ted Cruz standing firm and strong. You know, you're, I, you're, 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 on powers. you, um, you're, you're one of the, I'm trying to remember how many, it's not very many. You're one of the few committed Trumpsters that I have ever encountered who has decided to leave and go somewhere else, in your case, for Cruz. It was really ethanol that did it for you? Well, th there, were, there were some of the things, but definitely it was an ethanol. You know, the statements that he were making that kind of made me think that perhaps he doesn't really understand separation of powers between judicial, legislative, executive branch. Um, then, you know, I really don't think that he understands, you know, I like to have a separation between the states. For example, that 9-11 moment in a debate in Iowa when Ted Cruz said that he has New York. Um, hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, uh, when, when he said that Donald Trump has New York values, I really Donald Trump said, uh, well, 9-11 are our values. To me, it was okay. almost an equi uh, equivalent okay. of Barack Obama using a race car to stop the conversation. All right. I got you. I got you. I think you had a call waiting and somebody's calling you and you thought I was hanging up on you. But if we still have our dental cam signal because I've lost my feed on my monitor here. It says no, we're up and running. OK. Um, well, now that's 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 interesting. Uh, I have not talked to too many Trumpsters who have seen the light or abandoned Trump or whatever. But she's got two different reasons there. Ethanol. And I, I never said separation. But I think she's talking about observation that that Donald is not particularly ideological. In other words, who's liberal and who conservative? That doesn't register with him. He sees things in different ways. Not a criticism. Not a criticism. An observation. 